They say hip hop is dead. Hip hop is cool. TV is dead. Flavor of love, TV is deceased. Because they don't make reality TV sense. How are you going to have a reality show competition with no prize? What are they fighting for? Nothing about Flavor Flav's face says you won. They should call that show The Biggest Loser. <laughs> Coming to the stage, man, he's from California. He's a he's a writer, actor. He's one of comedy's young guns on the rise. James Davis, y'all, James Davis. Your church is nothing without a preacher, and I got the dopest preacher in the game. I'm gonna just say that. He might be better than yours. I'm just gonna say. This dude has the dopest Jesus piece in the game. That's why I know he's special. He got an iced out chain with Jesus on the cross. And then that Jesus is wearing its own iced out chain <laughs> with Jesus on the cross. And then that Jesus is wearing its own iced out chain with a Hip Hop Is Dead t-shirt. How you get that all on a chain? Last Sunday for communion, we had a glass of wine and pancakes. How you gonna supersize a holy tradition? That ain't right. That ain't right. And we don't baptize people individually. We baptize them by the entire pew. Preacher, come out. Section 17, are you ready to give your life to the Lord? They all drop underwater like a long ride at an amusement park. They give you little pictures of your baptism to put in your keychain. That's me, girl, getting saved right there. I was scared. Look at me. Oh my God, look at me, that's me getting signed. Who here eats at Subway? Clap your hands if you eat at Subway. I'm so mad at Subway and that song. Five dollar, five dollar, five dollar foot long. That's a lie. They do a remix called Accept These. Accept These. Accept Those right there. And I hate they always have to short you on your meat. Does that ever happen to you? They always have to short you on your meat? They got a foot long, 12 inch sandwich. They're trying to hit me with like nine and a half inches worth of meat. Like they was making my sandwich. Meat, meat, bread spot, meat, meat. <laughs> Keep on going. And I was like, no, no, go on back. Go on back. <laughs> what happened right here? <laughs> Why is my sandwich at a bald spot? Is this a recession on strut? Did the recession just happen right now? Is this the recession? This best one? bad right now. Can't get a job, which is okay because I'm on unemployment. I was suspended from unemployment for like five months, but now I'm back in. I feel like Michael Vick. I just got reinstated, you know? Let's get this money. <laughs> unemployment is great. Unemployment is great. It's so great that I don't even want to get hired. Like, don't come at me trying to hire me. You're getting rejected. Get away from here. Get out here with that job talk. This dude tried to hire me. I started using the same phrases that ladies use on dudes at the club. Hey man, uh, just wanted to know if you're interested in working with my, ooh, ooh, work. Listen, listen, I would, but I'm in a situation. And let me tell you right now, unemployment is the best thing since employment. Yep. If, you, if, if it's not working out, you better try that unemployment. Because like they, they like pay you to give up. <laughs> it's not working. Oh my God, a check. I clocked in not once, yet you pay me. It's just what the doctor ordered. Gas is changing comedy. The old joke was gas is so bad. The new joke is gas is so freaking ridiculous. Gas is so freaking ridiculous, you need two jobs, y'all. Your gas job and your regular job. Your nine to five, and your gas to five. I mean, you could be a plastic surgeon, making six, seven figures, living in some lavish mansion, and still have to sell bootleg skin out your trunk to make it to your appointments. You just be at the uh, hospital, hanging outside the burn victims unit, looking for clientele. Say dog, say dog, what's that, a hot water burn? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Yeah, that's what, second, third degree? Now look, you can go in there, waste up all your insurance, or you could uh, holla at your boy. I got that skin on deck, player. I got this white Michael Jackson skin. Starts off black, ends up white like a reversible jersey. Holla! What? What? I got this Akon black patent leather skin. Have your skin looking like the Jordan 11s. You remember that? Remember the frenzy? That could be you, dog. No, no, a little too dark? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got this chocolate Wesley Snipes skin. You only have to pay taxes on this one, dog. Just go on and get it. Just go on and get it right now. It's yours. You just do a law that brings about quick change. You know what I'm saying? Like change, bam, just happened. You saw that? What was that? Change? <laughs> Like, he needs to make a law that, like, like, for example, make McDonald's breakfast all day. You know what I'm saying? What? Change. Right? Like, McDonald's be pissing me off. Like, everybody else has 24-hour breakfast. McDonald's, 10.30. Shoot. Get out of here. Go eat. <laughs> like, have you ever showed up to McDonald's at, like, 10.27 and still been denied? Don't you feel like Rosa Parks when they told you to sit in the back? Like, ah! My right. Where's my... It's 10.27. <laughs> I wish I would have had Barack Obama with me in my car to argue for me to get my breakfast. Because you know Barack Obama, whatever he says goes. That's just what happens. Like, you know, Barack would have been like, uh, now listen. I understand that breakfast ends at 10.30. Uh, but that's one of the failed policies of the last eight years. Listen, 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 thank you, thank you. Uh, me and my wife, Michelle, our daughter, Sasha Malia. Uh, we're hungry. He always says that, Michelle, Sasha, Malia. Never Malia, Sasha, Michelle, or Michelle, Malia, Sasha. Always Michelle, Sasha, Malia. Like that's some kind of singing group. You gotta say it just like that. Like give it up for my family, Earth, Wind, and Fire. My daughters, Frankie, Beverly, and Mays. My nephews, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. That's what the order. You know, he would be like, now Ronald McDonald. I need you to be an agent for change. Uh, there's an old lady uh, who works in Idaho, uh, who works from 7 to 5. And maybe she can't get her, her sausage egg McMuffin, her bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. <laughs> Thank you. I charge you the next time she comes. Uh, and she asks you, can you serve me breakfast? I want you to tell her, yes, you can. <laughs>